If you're only using Google's Notebook LM for simple summaries, you're missing out on something truly incredible. Today, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you turn your files into AI podcasts, get instant answers to all your questions, and also get the connections across all your documents. Plus, I've got some cool tricks that most people don't know about. So just a quick favor here, if you want to learn more about AI tools that will make your work and life easier, hit the subscribe right now and the notification bell, and let's dive in. So you might be thinking, where do you have amazing AI assistants like ChatGPT and Claude? Why do we even need Notebook LM? Well, think about it this way. ChatGPT and Claude are like creative writing partners. It's great for coming up with new ideas. And Notebook LM is like your second brain. It's perfect for understanding and connecting everything you already have. And here's what makes it special. Notebook LM can read 25 million words at once. And that's like reading a hundred books at the same time. So if you compare that to ChatGPT, which can only read about six pages, and you'll see why this is such a big deal. But it's not just about how much it can read. Notebook LM also works with a lot of file types that you have, such as PDF, documents, presentations, websites, YouTube videos, and even audio files. And the best part, Unlike other AI tools that might sometimes just make things up, Notebook LM only use what's in your files, so there's absolutely no hallucination. And it also shows you where exactly it finds each piece of information. So now that you know why Notebook LM is different, let me show you how to get started. When you open Notebook LM for the first time and you log into your Google account, you will see this pop-up window and a lot of things going on. So just press the exit key and click the logo in the top left corner. Then you can see all your notebook. So either you can have this grid view or you can sort it with list view. You can sort it with most recent or title or share with me. So I suggest that you create a new notebook uh, when you have a new project. And this is how you can organize everything very nicely. So now let me give you a quick tour. Notebook LM has three main parts. On the left hand side, you've got your sources panel, and this is where you can drag and drop your files, connect to your Google Drive, add website links or YouTube video links, or paste any text that you just want to analyze. And in the middle is your chat area, and this is where the magic happens. You can ask questions about your documents, and Notebook LM will help you understand them better. More about this later. If you have no idea where to start after you upload all the sources, then there are some suggested questions here that you can get started. And they can be actually quite helpful. And when you click on this icon to configure the setting, you can define the conversation style. So either you keep it default or you can custom it. You can say, I want the answers to be more uh, conversational or more a PhD student or even like role playing. And you can also customize the response length. For now, I'll just keep everything default. On the right hand side is the studio panel. And this is packed with cool features such as the AI podcast or the audio feature. You can create the study guides. You can build FAQs or make timelines. Now, here's something super important that I learned the hard way. When you have a result that you like, always click on save to notes because this is not like ChatGPT or Claude, it won't save your answers. So if you don't save your answer and you reload the page, the answer is gonna be gone. And the reason why is because Notebook LM doesn't take your data to train its AI, okay? So just keep that in mind. So now let me show you my favorite ways to use Notebook LM. So for instance, I know many of you might want to build a personal brand on LinkedIn to increase your social presence and Notebook LM can help you do that. Here's how you do it. First, you want to gather everything about LinkedIn strategy and your personal info about LinkedIn. So here I've got a great ebook, a PDF file that I've found online about personal branding on LinkedIn. I have two videos from Lara Acosta, really amazing stuff. If you want to learn about LinkedIn and personal branding, you have to watch her video. Now, I also have some of my notes from LinkedIn branding seminar and I have a collection of viral posts that I want to learn from, from Justin Welsh and Sehil Bloom. 
And here's the cool part: instead of reading everything and watching all the YouTube videos, you can actually turn it into an AI podcast. So let me show you. Just click generate audio in the studio panel, and boom! You've got two AI hosts discussing all your materials. So let's see how it sounds like. Hey everyone, ready for a deep dive into LinkedIn? I know, right? We're going beyond the basics today. Yeah. We've got articles, videos,、mm -hmm. even some workshop notes from LinkedIn pros like、oh, wow. Laura Acosta, okay, Justin Welsh,、yeah? Sahil Bloom, cool, Shelly Elsliger. Wow, that's a lot of cut. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So get ready to grow your personal brand and、yeah. make LinkedIn work for you. Let's do it. So it's interesting how all these experts、mm -hmm. focus on LinkedIn growth. Yeah. But they all have such different approaches. Right. Right. Like Laura Costa,、mm -hmm. she suggests a digital detox. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> like ditch your old profile,、Good. start fresh. Oh, really? Oh no, right? Like a whole new account. Yeah, the whole shebang. Yeah. Kind of appealing, right? I guess. If yeah. We're starting from scratch. Exactly. Yeah. And here's a better feature that makes things even more interesting: is that you can click interactive mode, and you can actually join their conversations. So it's like you're calling in in the radio or something, something like that. So for our LinkedIn example, you can ask questions like, "What makes a post go viral?" or "How often should I post?" and then the AI host will answer your questions. So it's just like having a personal branding expert right there with you. It's actually pretty mind blowing. Now you can also use Notebook LM to help you make decisions about the product development. So let's just say that your company is going to develop a meditation app, and you're the one who's responsible for making a strategic plan. And this is how you can use Notebook LM for it. So just like the last one, you want to upload your sources. So find everything that might help you with your decisions. For instance, if you have like user interview or user research, you can upload all the data. And if you have like tech specs, your meeting notes, everything, you can just upload them. Maybe you have also some, you know, voice notes from your team brainstorming sessions. You could just. Gather all these information and upload everything into your notebook LM. And from there, you can do a lot of things. For instance, you can ask it questions like, "What do users request most? Like, which features should we develop for this product?" And also with the tech specs and the meeting notes and all, you can make a plan for the next quarter for your company. So that's really handy way of using this. And what's good about this is that since this is a Google product, you can also share it with all your team, so that everyone can contribute to this notebook and develop something that everyone agrees on. Now, here's the thing I want you to remember: Notebook LM really shines when you have information scattered everywhere and you need to piece it together. So with that, you can really think of a lot of use cases, right? Let's say today you want to make an investment decision. If you want to invest in a company stock, maybe it's Apple or Amazon or whatever. And what you can do is that you can gather all this information, like annual report, maybe expert comments, maybe like recent news. You can just capture that. And also, what you can do is that you can upload some investment books or like YouTube videos about how to invest in stock. And with all this information together, you can start asking questions like, "What was the trend of Apple or Amazon the past three years?" And according to the best practices in investment, if this is a good investment decision, you see there are a lot of things you can do. This will also work if you're learning a complex topic. So, for instance, if you're learning photography, then of course you will have all these course materials, textbooks, guides, PDFs. Or like YouTube videos, how to do this, how to do that in photography. And on the other hand, you also have your equipment. So maybe you buy a specific type of camera, can be Sony, can be Canon, or anything. But here, what's truly amazing is that you can go online and look for the manual of that specific camera that you have bought, and then you can simply upload that to Notebook LM. And now you have this amazing, comprehensive knowledge base that you can then interact with. You can ask questions about how I troubleshoot something about my camera, and also with this camera and this knowledge, how can I make the best shot about 
something something you know a scenery or whatever and this way it can really connect the dots for you and really help you make sense of things that you already know and same things apply if you're a student then you know what to do upload all your notes all your course materials and then you can simply ask yourself questions make a quiz out of it or make podcast episode to understand a certain part of your course materials it's just so handy and you can really make a lot of use cases out of it now let me show you some cool tricks most people don't know about first up you can customize your ai podcast when you click generate audio you can actually tell the ai host what you want them to focus on so if you want them to explain things like you're a five-year-old or that you have no knowledge on the subject, just type in your prompt here. And if you want them to focus on a specific area or a domain in your files, you can also ask that. And here's a trick most people miss. You can resync Google Docs in real time. So if you want to do that, just click the refresh icon next to any Google Docs source and Notebook LM will instantly update with any changes you've made. And another hidden gem is the Timeline tool. It automatically organizes all your project dates and milestones. So you don't have to dig through tons of documents just to find the important dates. And as I said, if you have something important, remember to click Save to Note, and this will appear here. And what you can do is that you can also convert it to source. So if I click that, you will see this Q1 plan now will appear on the left hand side as a source okay so this is also a very handy feature so the key is this whenever you find yourself jumping between websites blog posts youtube videos documents trying to make sense of something then it's when you know that you can use notebook lm for this all right now let's wrap things up shall we if you forget everything that i've just talked about here are just three things that i want you to remember number one Notebook LM is like your second brain, so you can use it to understand what you already have. And that means also the sources you provide are super important. Number two, when you generate something important or interesting, always click save to note. Otherwise, when you reload the page, it's going to be gone. Number three, you can use the audio feature to generate podcasts to learn about any subject while you do other things. I really find this so useful and incredible because this engaging format of learning really makes things so much easier to understand. Okay, if you found this tutorial helpful, show some love, like the video, and subscribe to the channel for more AI tips that actually work. And if you have any questions, drop a comment down below and I'll try my best to read and respond to all of them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.